Greetings. Today we're going to take a look at the TMP36 temperature sensor from SparkFun. And it says that this sensor can measure from minus 40 to plus 125C and that it has a scale factor of 10 millivolts per degree C. We're going to do something a little different with it. We're going to set, set it up or configure it for uh, reading Fahrenheit and centigrade as well. Okay, let's get started. So here's the specification for the TMP35, 36, 37 series of temperature sensors. The one I have is in this package here, TO92, and it's a, a three pin device. Some of the uh, devices that have more pins have a shutdown pin as well, as well but uh, we're not dealing with that today. So um, as I was mentioning before, this is a 10 millivolt per degree C factor. Uh, we will actually configure this for uh, measuring Fahrenheit and then convert it to degree centigrade. I'm going to scroll down in the spec to the point where it shows us how to do that. So we'll go down here and there's a circuit diagram, a little circuit diagram on how to do it. So basically what it tells us here is that we need to put a little resistor network, 45.3 K ohms, 10 K ohms, and it will come out with the temperature in Fahrenheit with one millivolt per degree Fahrenheit and it has this little minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit here. So um, what this tells us up in the spec is that there's a 58 millivolt or 58 degree Fahrenheit offset in the output voltage. So we'll have to account for that in the, uh, the microprocessor code. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the program. Let's take a real quick look at the circuit diagram. Here we have the Arduino Uno. Here we have the temperature sensor. And you notice we have our little resistor divider network here that uh, will give us the right factor for one millivolt per degree Fahrenheit. And notice that this data is connected to the A0 pin of the Arduino. And notice that the plus 5 or plus VSS pin of the sensor is connected to the Arduino 5 volt supply and that the ground is connected to the Arduino ground. So that's a very very simple setup for the temperature sensor in degrees Fahrenheit mode. Okay so here's the test setup for the TMP36 temperature sensor. Here's the sensor itself and we have some resistors here in a resistor divider network. Now this is as specified by the specification. Um, they're asking for a 10k ohm resistor and a 45.3k ohm resistor, which I don't have. I don't think it's a standard value. If it is, I don't have it. So I just used uh, three different resistor values that brought me as close as I possibly could to that value. I don't think it matters that much because the, um, the spec for this thing is only plus or minus two degrees anyway. Over here we have the Arduino and it's a really simple connection. We're just connecting the power and the ground and the data from the temperature sensor coming out of the resistor network. Okay, that's it for the explanation of the circuit. Let's go take a look at it working. All right, let's take a look at our Arduino program. So far, first we start by creating a couple of variables, doubles for the temperature in Fahrenheit and in Celsius. And these will hold the temperature values that we create. We set our analog reference to internal. So what this means is that we're setting 1.1 volts or 1100 millivolts equivalent to 1024 in the digital domain. And remember that uh, with an ADC reading, we use 
2 to the power 10 or 1024 with the Arduino. And we set our serial begin to 9600. So this sets up the serial monitor board rate at 9600. Going down to the loop here, first of all we take an analog reading on A0. So remember that uh, the data coming from our TMP36 chip is coming in on analog pin, pin A0. And then we come down to this equation here. So basically what this does is it cross multiplies and converts the incoming temperature, which is in the di digital domain, into an analog reading. And you'll see here that we also subtract the minus 58. So if you recall in the specification, it noted that we had to take care of this offset of 58 millivolts or 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Because with the configuration that we're using, we're using one millivolt is equivalent to one degree Fahrenheit. And then we print out the temperature uh, and, the, and the F to show that it's Fahrenheit on the serial monitor. And down here we use the classic equation to calculate the temperature in degrees C from the Fahrenheit temperature. This is a really well-known equation if you don't know it. And then we serial print that out as well. And then we do we have a delay of a half second and then we go back in the loop and we do it again. So we continuously are taking temperature readings from the from the temperature sensor. So now I'm going to bring up the serial monitor and I'm going to show you the data coming out. Here's the serial monitor and here we go. And here you can see it's reading out in degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. And it's jumping around a little bit. It is only accurate to plus or minus two degrees after all. So it's a, it's a roughly uh, accurate temperature sensor in that respect. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.